Yo, King AK47, voice of the streets. Shout out to the game, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. We got a little rundown about to go down this morning, man. So if you see this in the morning, afternoon, the night, uh, I ain't got nothing to rhyme with it. Shit, everything will be all right. Uh, let's start off with E-Day, man. So E they come out. Hold on, let me get these niggas words right, cause I don't got time for nigga. Man, you missed me saying the word and and all that crazy shit. So uh, E they say, what what the hell E they say, man? This nigga E they say when it comes to drill, when it comes to the topic of drill music, I feel so underappreciated cause six hundred started drill. So Boss Top comes out with a post, I think like a day later. And Boss Top say, why everybody want to be the inventors or the starters of shit? <laughs> shit ain't, they ain't a vent. Wait, why everybody want to be the inventors or starters of shit? Ain't invented shit yet. He, he typed that all wrong. Ain't drilled nobody like, what the fuck? What planet is this? So basically, now I can't confirm this, but what it's looking like is Boss Top is replying to what E Day saying. Now let me say something about E Day. E Day, don't you forget you ruined six hundred, my nigga. You ruined it. You wanted to be the spotlight. You wanted to be the hair honcho. And yeah, you might have put it together and did your thing, but it was a young nigga's world, bro. It's a young nigga world, man. You was too old to be hanging with them little boys, and you try to be the spotlight King Cooper and all that. And for real, for real, Tay was better than you. Uh, L.A. Capone was better than you. Rondo number nine was better than you. Your brother C. Day was better than you. Like, we could keep going on. Uh, Y'all didn't start drill in my eyes. You didn't. Uh, you know, uh, for real, for real, Pac started drill. I'm talking the term drill. I know other cities will say, man, we was drilling first. The term drill. Pac started drill. Sosa spreaded it. Well, we King Louie was in there a little bit. And Sosa just spread it everywhere. Like, e -Day, man, come on, bro. You can't be like that, bro. You know what I mean? And, uh, Boss Top, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to you, man. You feel me? You standing on how you feel, man. Now, I ain't confirming that that was a sneak this. Y'all know what it is. Uh, what else we got for y'all today, man? We got Lil Reese responding to Boosie, man. So, uh, Boosie basically did an interview and uh, and said, uh, what, what Boosie said? Let me get these niggas words right. What this nigga Boosie said? So, uh, Boosie said, on Vlad, of course, Vlad. The reason why he don't want to leave Chicago is because he don't want to look like a coward. So Lil Reese responds, tell Boosie I said all that I don't want to look like a coward shit dead. That ain't the reason. I got I got real life shit going on. I move when I want to move. So basically what Lil Reese saying is he ain't moving on Chicago right now. He got too much going on in Chicago right now. He got shit he got to take care of in Chicago right now. Uh, Lil Reese, y'all know that nigga y'all was dissing. Y'all know that nigga that, that a lot of your homies and all that was blackballing? Duck? Rest in peace to FBG Duck. Duck said the same thing. He said he didn't want to leave Chicago because he had too much going on. And he had stuff, you know, he had to handle. So, uh, pay attention and be careful of your own words you spit out, man. It might come back to haunt you. You might as well get your ass up out of the rack because it ain't nothing for you there. I don't care what you think you got going on. It ain't enough. Uh, if you're dead or if you go to jail, it don't matter what you got going on. So if I was you, I'd be up out of there. ASAP, ASAP, however you want to say it. Next thing we got. So Kodak Black delete his Instagram, right? After throwing money, what was it, 100000 After throwing some money, right? Now, he does all this immediately after the Jack Boy, Kodak Black, beef about some money, right? So, he beef with a nigga about some money and then throw money like he don't care, right? So, then, Jack Boy, after Kodak Black deletes his IG, he releases a song. 
Um, I don't know about y'all, but pay attention to when Kodak reactivate his page. If he got a song dropping right after that, and then either after that they do a song together, or the song that they do together come out after he reactivate his page, I told y'all don't believe these niggas. They do anything for the clout, for attention. They don't even need the extra attention, but they know it'll boost it, man. Because guess what? Everybody wanted to hear what Jack Boy had to say about Kodak, which was nothing. And everybody going to want to hear what Kodak got to say about Jack Boy, which ain't going to be nothing. So if you ask me, man, it just be a lot of uh, shenanigans going on, but... If them boys really is into it, though, you know, my word of advice, get over it, man. Uh, You know, we always see shit crumble, man. Empires being built crumble. It'd be about money, man. At the end of the day, man, the hell with that. Uh, You know, y'all day ones, man. So we don't need to be showing the people. Because what you're doing is you showing these little niggas. Uh, you know, I beef for my nigga about some money, man. Fuck money, bro. Uh, Just stay solid, man. If y'all got... Beef about money, keep that internally, man. For now on, forever, keep that internally, man. So that's Kodak and Jack Boy. Uh, NBA Young Boy trial, when his trial, August 18th is when his trial uh, is set to begin. Now, y'all know it's July 2nd of right now. So they got from now to before August 18th, I'm going to say even before August 18th, they got for the rest of July to try to get this boy a bond, charges, drop, anything. Man, if it go to trial, man, I don't know for real. On the outside looking in, you know, it look like they just trying to wax young boy. But hell, who am I, man? You know what I mean? So uh, prayers go to young boy. Hopefully you get out, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, your kids need you. A lot of people depending on you right now. You know, it's rumors about your squad and all that downfall since you went down it. You know, I just pray you get out, man, because don't nobody need to be in jail, man. Uh, Lil Nas X, yeah, his ass still fruity as hell. So, uh, ain't no update on his ass. And Kid Cudi, while you talking, talking about anybody who said free Bill Cosby, you know, they should be reprimanded or whatever the hell you said. Hey, man, listen, we don't need niggas that wear dresses who claim Cleveland, but really from the city of Shaker, and uh, who, who, who dye their hair all type of weird colors and paint their nails to be speaking about nothing. Let people who really, you know, uh, should speak, speak, man. Your ass don't speak on nothing. Last time we seen you, you was wearing a dress, uh, talking about Kurt Cobain. I don't give a hell if you was doing it for cocaine. I don't give a hell if you was doing it for Captain Kirk, nigga. Yeah, it's a goofy, man. So, uh, yeah, I was very pissed off by him saying that. As y'all know, I'm one of the leaders and founders of the Free Bill Cosby campaign. I don't give a damn what nobody talk about. I don't care if he got off on the technicality or not. His ass ain't did nothing. All them girls lying. They even got accusers called Jane Doe and, and Mary Rashford Dubois. Van Ert and all this crazy ass shit, man. They could go on out somewhere with that. So we ain't trying to listen to that kid, Cuddy. But uh, shout out to the gang. Shout out to everybody rocking with your boy. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Let me give you some time to do that. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed, man. And share this video, man. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. I'll see y'all in a minute, man. Live stream tonight. I'm out.